Hello everybody, welcome back. I do not expect to do well with this draft whatsoever, but we're going to try it out anyway, okay? So I'm going to randomize the team as we do, and I am going to stop on, boom, Winnipeg Jets, okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and hop in now. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure we have done this draft in the past, and I'm fairly confident we haven't had much success, and I don't think we're going to today either, but you never know, you never know. Maybe today's the day. So let's turn off the coach editing lines, turn off player morale. We can allow the computers to trade if they ever so please. Salary cap on. All righty. So let's go ahead and make sure that injuries and stuff are off as well. And then all those silly little meetings and whatnot. Well, I turned off morale, so I don't have to worry about that. But I do want to make sure that I only get star <laughs> trade offer notifications and waivers, which I don't think is going to happen. Uh, retired jerseys, we'll leave that on. And then Blockbuster Trade Alerts, we will leave that on to see if the CPUs make any big maneuvers to keep the salary cap on. I mean, I could have just toggled it off. Why are you asking me? So we're middle of the pack, pick number 13. Let's see who we can get. It's probably going to be defense heavy first. But anyway, yeah, we're going by the... Oh, yes, Ovechkin, you legend. Ovechkin is five stars... For physicality. We also got Tom Wilson, who's a pretty good overall as well. Okay, so we really don't have... Yeah, we're not, we are not doing well. We are not going to be a good team. But obviously, I have to take over chicken. There's just simply no alternative there. And I don't think Tom Wilson's going to go yet. So yeah, we still have 90s on the board. So you know what? I'm going to take a goalie right now. Get that out of the way. I think that's the smart move. I'll take... Igor, probably. So I'm making 5.6, 90 overall, 25 years of age. Yeah, Igor, welcome to the team. Boom. All righty. It's an all right start, but it is going to go downhill real quick. Physicality. Okay, let's see how far I can actually go with this. Oh, it goes to four and a half real quick. So we have up till here, Brandon Carlo. And of course, I'm going to take Tim Winston. 5.1 million, 86 overall. We're t we're not going to make the playoffs. If we do, I'll be severely impressed. But yeah, I'm, I'm more so curious to see how the team ends up looking. So we do have some decent defensemen here. Carlo was five-star physical, right? Yeah, he's 82 overall as well, which actually is pretty solid. Medium top four defenseman. He's a defensive defenseman. Shutdown guy. Yeah, okay, sure, let's go. Is there a stat to see how many penalty minutes the team got as a whole? Because I would love to see if we absolutely dominate the league in that category or not. But yeah, that would be interesting. So I'm going to be on the lookout for that. I know Alexiak has a pretty low discipline, or he did in the past anyway. He's up to 85 now. Okay, never mind. He used to have a really low discipline. So super physical guy, 82 overall. And pretty solid discipline. Actually, very solid discipline. I'll give him that. So that is a good pick. Let's get get ourselves a good backup goaltender right now. Pavel or Bennington, Ranta, Jim Reimer. Okay, let's go with... I kind of want to take Reimer. I'm going to be real. Hmm. Actually, let me... One second. I have Reimer in fantasy. If he got me the win last night, I'm taking him. I'll just check. So where's my phone? They did beat them. And the Islanders had 47 shots, went to an overtime, and they only got three goals on 47 shots. So I'm pretty happy with that performance, Jimbo. I'm taking you. Boom. You've earned it. Congrats. Let's go ahead and sort by the physical category again. We're going to pretty much end up with all the five-star guys, I think. Lucic is actually an 80 overall, but he's, he's not bad, you know? It's a 70 discipline, which isn't good, but... We don't really have to take Chara. He's not going anywhere anytime soon. Let's let's take Lucic for now. And it doesn't really matter what order we take them in because we're going to take all of those guys anyway. Physicality. Yeah, I don't think they're moving. So let's take Chara, 82. There's still some good players here, which devastates me. But yeah, physical category. There it is. Ryan Reeves. Could take him. 78 overall. Zadorov, 80 overall. Luke Shen, the Intimidator. Oh, yeah, that guy's got to be a part of the team for sure. But who do we take right now? Who is the priority? I mean, Ryan Reeves, second line right wing. Absolutely. There's actually only four players with five-star physicality left. So that is promising. We got Cassian, Zadorov, Boyle, and Martin. And I don't think it, again, matters what order I take them in. Because I don't think 
they're going anytime soon. So people are probably looking at our team like, what on earth are they doing over there? And I agree. What on earth are we doing over here? Let's take Boyle for now. We need a centerman. We currently have none of those. And now we have one. So we're going to have a 79 overall center. That is iconic. Oh, my voice just gave up. <laughs> I really got to stop recording. Actually, it doesn't make a difference whether I record in the morning or not. It really does not. So we can take Matt Martin and then we are officially down to the four and a half stars. So let's sort by physicality again. How far down does this one go? Okay, so we have up till here. Anders Lee. Anders Lee! He's only 83. What the heck? Okay, we got Jamie Benn. Only $33 million of cap space as well left though. Holy. That went down quick. So I'm going to take Ben. I don't think we have much of a choice. This one, we should try to be like more lenient with the cap if we can. I'm also taking Getzlav 100% if he's still there. Because we need centers. Getzy, you better still be here. Come on. And... Oh, okay. Getzlav! Yes, $3 million. 83 overall centerman. Thank you. Kyra's in there as well. We also have Patty Maroon at 79 overall. I'm going to take Brendan Dillon for now, though, at 81. And yeah, we are really... Actually, you know what? We're running out of cap space, but we have a lot more players selected than I thought we did. So we don't really have to worry about it. I thought we had a long way to go, but it turns out that really we need three more forwards and one more defenseman and we're good. So four players total in $16 million. And I don't think that's going to be too hard sorting by this category. I think we'll survive. Logan Stanley, he's probably like a 70, yeah, I was going to say 78, 77. Uh, Kyle Clifford at 78. I get, yeah, let's take Clifford, sure. I feel like this team is going to be penalty minutes galore. Again, we still need forwards, so I am going to take, oh, we need centers as well. So I probably will end up with Kyber on the team. Our last defenseman has to be Luke Shen um, for reasons that I can't really explain, but he's the intimidator. And he wins the height trophy. So, yeah, he has to be on the team. Physicality. And let's, I guess we'll take Kyra and then we'll just take Shen. Because Shen's not going anywhere. So, Kyra, welcome to the team. Luke Shen will be the very last pick for the squad. And we are ready to rumble. And by rumble, I mean literally rumble. There's going to be a lot of fighting. Because we're not going to be winning hockey games. Luke Shen, welcome to the team. Boom. The Hart Trophy winner. That is huge. So, I think our team's done. No, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. Never mind. We are done. I'm going to take, like, a screenshot of this because I feel like they're definitely... Never mind. They didn't really take any players that would overtake these guys. But I'm going to do it anyway. Let's take a quick little screenshot there. And, yeah. I forgot we have Ovechkin. That's actually huge. That is huge. That will hopefully... Make our team somewhat competitive at the minimum. Let's simulate up to the regular season. Okay, we're probably going to have a lot of grinders as well and enforcers. So, yeah, I, I doubt we're going to have any playmakers. Maybe some power forwards. Possibly two-way forwards. Maybe Getzlav. No, he's definitely not a playmaker. Head coach, edit lines. No. And best lines. Wow, what a bad team. <laughs> Let's sort by scratched, and Patty Maroon needs to come in. Boom, there you go. All right, who has the, the best face-offs here? We got 60, 65, and 65, so it doesn't really matter. He shoots left. They all shoot left. Okay. Oh! All right. I'll take that plus one when I can get it, for sure. So our first line's actually not bad, and then it just immediately hits a cliff. So, yeah, that's our team. How many wins do you think we're going to get? I think, at most, we'll get 32 wins. And that is me being optimistic. Oh, my word. Yeah. Well, it, it was, you know, a fun draft nonetheless. <laughs> it was an interesting one. Oh, wow. That is awful. Okay. So, if I bring Zadorov up, we at least get a plus one there. And is there anything else I can do? Luke Shen? No. Brandon Dillon? No. Uh, I think that's probably about as good as it's going to get. The plus one there. All right, and in net, we have, at least we have Igor, you know, and Jimbo. So we should be okay in net, but even they are going to be struggling with this team in front of them. So obviously, I'm going to say Ovi gets the most points. Um, let's say he gets 71, because there's not a whole lot of help going on there. Uh, and I'll say that the team gets mm, 33 wins. 
I hope we can get that anyway. All right. Well, maybe we'll just beat the crap out of people and we'll end up winning hockey games. There you go. That's a good start. Oh, yeah. The physicality draft, baby. No way. Okay, I was going to say, we're going to come crashing back down for sure. But what a start from the lads. Hot out of the gate. What the heck is going on? We must just literally be beating the piss out of teams and they can't take it. Because there is no other way that we should be winning this many games. We're, we got to come crashing back down. We're going to lose like eight games in a row right now or something, right? Like this is not sustainable for sure. I just, I, I can't, I can't believe this. We're, there's no way. There is simply no way. I want to be optimistic and say, it looks like we're going to make the playoffs. But I, I refuse to believe it because I'm going to get my hopes up. And then the game is going to crush them. So... Yeah, uh, just please, okay, this game, they, they can't crush my dreams at this point. We're doing too well. There's no way that we just nosedive. We are unbelievable, and I don't understand why exactly, but I'm not going to ask questions. I am simply going to accept the fact that your Winnipeg Jets are leading the division right now. This is insane. This is actually insane. I don't know how we're pulling this off right now. But this is better than like any of my fantasy drafts ever. Keep the current trading block. Let's see who's available. But I'm not making moves. Are you kidding me? We're still going to get first rounded. But holy crap. What a team. All right. These are all the players on the block. I don't need any of you. Get out of here. Show me one blockbuster trade. And let's keep going here. I, I seriously can't believe this. Uyghur, Vetrano, and Sod for a first and Pustinen. I don't know. I haven't really heard of them. But anyway, we already have 41 wins. And now we are going to lose two and win two after the deadline. Four wins in a row. There's an overtime loss. So we're still going. And there's a 5-1 L. But it's looking like we stand a very good chance at winning the division. Which is absolutely bonkers. Yeah, we're six points up. We won the division. We won it. How is this possible? What just happened? 52 wins! We got 52 wins! Am I missing something? Hold on. I, I need to see the points here. This is absolutely ridiculous. So yeah, 52 wins, 108 points. We had 10 points on the wild to win the central. And in the entire league, we, we won the president's trophy? Wow. I, I'm speechless. I'm actually speechless. I don't understand how that physically... Is possible. I don't get it. And then the 19th placed Oilers make it in. Detroit. That's who we're up against, by the way. The Red Wings and Capitals got shafted there. New Jersey got big time shafted. I don't know how that just happened. My mind is still blown. 77 points from Ovechkin. We got 62 from Tim Winston. All right. 53 from Getzlav. Jamie Benn put up uh, 51. Boyle with 46 as a 79 overall player. 41 from Patty Maroon. Just getting shots galore from Ovechkin here. Penalty minutes. We had 124 from Reeves. 76 from Matt Martin. 69 from Clifford. 52 from Ovi. Wow. All right. How'd the goalies do? They must have did very well. Yeah, look at these guys. 42, 22, and 3 with four shutouts. A 923. And 246. And then Reimer 10 4 and 1 with two shutouts. A 928 222. I, okay. In net for the entire league, Shesterkin led. So, yeah, that's ridiculous. Freddie Anderson had a 930, but Shesterkin had one more win with a 923. Freddie killed it this year, too, though. 220, 930, and 41 wins. Crazy. Let's go to the forwards. So we got Stamkos with 104, Rantanen with 101, Larkin up there with 95, Patrick Kane 93, but a dash 7. Um, Crosby 90, Dreisaitl, Pasa Hibido, and Kobitar all up there as well. Let's check out the defenders. We have John Carlson, 72. Kale McCarr with 71, Victor Hedman with a nice amount of points, uh, Fox. 66 and yeah there you have it i don't even care if we get first rounded we just won the president's trophy with this team somehow so let's let's simulate the playoffs and see how they go all right nice 
And we get first rounded. <laughs> Classic. After a nice President's Trophy season. I don't care. I, I still am in disbelief that everything that just happened actually happened. Well, Carolina won the cup, so let's have a quick peek at their roster. Um, Where was I going to look? Carolina. <laughs> I just blanked out instantly because for some reason, I just realized that we're the Jets. I thought we were the Capitals because, well, I guess having Ovi and Tom Wilson sort of threw that off, but... I feel like this was the other order, was it not? Unless I'm crazy when we were going to look at the stats. I don't know. Regardless, Winnipeg Jets, um, we're not looking at you. We're looking at Carolina. Pedersen, 90 overall. Chitrin at 85. They have Olofsson at 84. Did he drop then or is he an 84 normally now? Uh, Schmaltz with a 84 overall. Edmondson at 83. They have a decent team, but I don't know how they won the cup. Caulfield, goal Caulfield. 79 overall. Who'd they have in net? Let's look at that. Goalies, they had Gibson and Subban. Okay, yeah, Gibson is very, very good. All righty. Yeah, that just happened. That did really just happen. So let's go to the playoff tree. Oh, the awards. Forgot about the awards almost. Boom. Carolina, Winnipeg Jets, your Winnipeg Jets. The Oilers with the Campbell. And, wait, they actually made it all the way to the finals? What the heck? After finishing 19th in the league, that is absolutely crazy. This whole, everything about this was just insane. Stamkos with the Art Ross and the Hart. Kale McCarr gets the Norris. Stamkos also gets the Lady Bing. Um, the Calder goes to Zegris. Conn Smythe to Olafson. Okay. Freddie Anderson with the Vesna. Bobrovsky with the Jennings, so... Okay, I guess Igor Shesterkin just getting ripped off there. Edmondson with the Bill Masterton. Jack Adams um, goes to Sorelli. Bergeron with the Selkie. Stamkos with the Lindsay. And Hattrick Kane with the Rocket Richard. So that was that draft. I don't know how we pulled that off, but we did. The Hurricanes Edmonton Oilers was the 06 Stanley Cup rematch. I guess it would have been 06 because NHL 07 came out in 06 and. These were the two teams that were the default for playing out, which is always the two teams that made it to the Stanley Cup Finals. So, yeah. And they swept them. Carolina swept, that is. They did not go to seven games one time. That's good for them, I suppose. But, yeah. Somehow we pulled that off, guys. Um, I, I still am unsure as to how. But it happened nonetheless. And I appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you soon.